Good morning, everyone. I just want to do an art journal page today in one of my homemade art journals. Uh, the page is gessoed. I'm going to use Jane Davenport's mermaid markers. And I have some stamped out images. I haven't colored her dress yet because I want to see how the colors come out on here. I have this very old stamp set. Um, there's my sentiment. I'll be using Liquitex to put that on. I have some white paint for some white splashes. Stays on ink. And I have a stencil from Diane Reevely. So, let's get started. I've got a piece of paper towel in there, but I also have like some junk mail under there for a little more stability. So I'll take out my blue mermaid markers and my greens and a yellow. So this one is Pirate's Gold. This one is Siren. Seaweed. Blue Bottle. And Byron Bay. Now, let's... Where is... Water Bottle? That I got from Dollar Tree. And let's begin, because I'm sure this is going to be quite messy, but I'm going to try to do it this way. See how my colors... Get them to squeeze out some. Come on. And I'm going to wet it a little bit. I'm just going to take a paintbrush and move it around just enough to where it will, oops, sorry, cover my area. I'll keep moving it around. And why not just move it to the other side? Let's see what happens when I close this. Alright, that's not bad. That's a big, huge puddle mistake, but that's fine. I'll just mop it up. Hit it in the middle. Now that that's wet, I hope these come off easier. I'll just... And let's see, can we do splashes? We sure can. Let me get this out of the way, move this up. All right, let's see. Now let's do some, I need another paper towel. Another paper towel. All right, now let's work with the greens. I'll only do a little bit of dark greens. That might be too much, but we'll transfer it to the other page. I do suggest you keep these upright um, so that they don't leak out. I'll add a little bit of pirate gold. And I'll just put them. I just put them in a little jar to keep them upright. When you flood them like that, it's it's good to let the ink just travel back down. All right. Let 
let's get this cleaned up a little bit. Pick up some of this green, move it. Hmm. Spray this just a smidge, move it over, mash it down, hold it there for a second, and pick it up. And that's pretty cool, it's not bad. Move this, and I'll just come in and pick up the excess from my spine. And that didn't make too much of a mess. Good job. All right. Let me dry this real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, it's dry. Um, what has me a little baffled is this is mixed media paper, so it's thicker. And I have gesso and the colors seem quite muted. Now this is just regular sketchbook paper, no gesso and the colors are more vibrant. Um, so I'm wondering if I want to use this page over this page. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. We'll do both sides. And we'll see which one looks better. Now, I'm going to do some... Thanks, Leah. Let me get a... Dollar Tree Pouncer brush and some white paint. Just to add a little bit of difference into some of these blues. I'm just, I'm barely pressing at all. So I just want like a ghosted effect from the white. And I'll just move that over. Just barely go across it. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Put some of the smaller ones up here. Maybe some down here. It is a gray, rainy day here today. <clears throat> So they seem, the mermaid markers seem more vibrant on just an un surface. And are more muted on a gessoed surface. So, that's good to know. I think the next time I'll try, I will use just the markers On mixed media paper, no gesso. All right, let me wet that and stick that there. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so what I can do is let me get a green ink. I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided not on a green ink because not everybody has green inks. So I'm going to do green paints. And let's see how well they work. Put a little bit. Because what I'm going to do is I, I think I'll layer them. And see just what kind of effect I can get. Let me get some baby wipes. 
Okay. I've got a stamp that I'm going to use to put on the ground or to create my ground. I've added some water to my paint and I'm going to start with my darkest first. So what I'll do is I'll pick it up with my finger and dab it on. Making sure to get the best coverage I can. And then I'll just place it down, hold it there for a second. Let the paint grab. Ah, I like that. That looks good. Pick up some more. Put it on there. Inks are expensive. Paints are cheap. They'll do the same thing. And I think I'll go up here. And if I give it a good press, it gets quite solid. Same. I'll go over to the other page, do the same thing. Just putting the paint on the leaf stamp. I'll go over here in this corner, give it some pressure, just wiggle it a little bit. And there we go. Use up the rest. Put it on there. I'm eating more because I have another single leaf that I can build off of. And there we go. Wipe that off with a baby wipe really quick. Stamp it off on a paper towel to dry it. And let's mix up this lighter shade of green. And I'll just tap it on there so that I'm not wasting what's on here. Because we just want to give these some dimension. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift just ever slightly on this image. <clears throat> Stamp it. Come up. There we go. Just get some with the paint palette. Put it down. Come to the image. I think I'll go this way. Put it down. Lift it up. And there it has its own shadow. I'll do this one over here. I still have some paint left. I'll just put it down. Put it on. Put some back on here. Go to this one, shift over just a smidge, and maybe down. Oh, this moves on me. I'm sorry about that. Push it, pick it up. All right. Let's try this light green just a tiny bit. See what happens. Because what I'm what I mean by light, it's like a chartreuse. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I think I'll use my finger just to smidge it out just a little bit. And we will go opposite and up. Press it on there, come off. And I'll take what's left on this one. Do the same thing. It just gives it a little more of a dimension. Um, so it's not just a stamped image and bam, that's it. Look over here to this dark one. Move over a smidge. Put it down. So I guess we're just going to make two pages, two different, one page, two different ways. There we go. 
I guess that worked out. So one gessoed and one ungessoed. All right. So I'm just going to take the baby wipe, clean it off so that there's no paint left on there. And then have a piece of paper towel in front of me right here and I'll dry it off and then I'll set it up here. Now I want to take this other this leaf and maybe extend out my plants some or maybe add some at the bottom and let me get a touch more dark green you know what I want different greens so what I'll do is I'll mix this dark green into the medium green and just make a whole different shade of green now this is a, a stamp I haven't used in a while so I'll just rub it on my hand dirty it up a little bit and that way it grabs the paint better hopefully this one stands out mm, not so much so we do need the the darker and there we go so you just grab a little bit of this darker and mix it in with the lighter Let's see how that works. Not too bad. And just come over here. I'll go here in this corner and let me move it so that I can get in this corner. Stamp it down. I'll clean the dark green off before I go to any other color, but I might leave that that way. And do -do -do. clean up my palette knife with a baby wipe. Hmm. What to do with these greens? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an old fan brush and just pick up some of these and add little. They look like blades of grass, but it's just adding more texture to your page. And we'll flick in some lighter greens. Why not? It's just an art journal page. And I'll hit up some of this white space. All right, I'll just open up the lid to the kiwi, grab a clean brush, scoop it up, put it back in. That's all I do. And since I have some on here, why not? Yes, they're only 50 cents, but I still don't like wasting paint, so. I'll just add it or I can find a different page and just put this in here and actually give this a little spritz move it around a little bit
close that up because I know I'll spill it. I'll pick this up, come over here, and just mush the book down on it. Wait a second, drag it a little bit, and then pull it up. And that way I already have that started. All right, so I'll just put this here. Come back over here, grab the baby wipe. Clean up the glass really quick. I got the Tim Holtz mat for Christmas over a year ago, and it just sat there because, you know, it's weird. I will get stuff for Christmas, and boy, I'll let it sit there, and I'll look at it going, yay, I got the Tim Holtz mat. I'm so happy. How long is it going to take me to use it? <laughs> it took me over a year to finally open the box, pull it out, and use it. That's silly. All right, so we've got that cleaned up. Got this one cleaned up. Dry it off, take it out. Now I have a butterfly stick, or not butterfly. Let me get these down here. Ah, oh, words escape me sometimes, I'm telling you. Why is that there? But that's turned around. Hmm. Dragonfly. There you go. Way to go, Lori. I know. It's silly. So, I'm going to use my stays on ink for this one. This one is still, I haven't used it, so I'm just going to dirty up the surface a little bit so that it holds the ink and doesn't just like disperse from the ink. it up put it down pick it up I think I'll go right here and then we'll do some on this side yeah let's see if we put her there her hair is going to cover that up so she can go there and the little puppy can go there but if we do her over here looks good to me and I'll just wipe the ink off close up my ink because I'm gonna tell you it stays on is not cheap none of the archival inks are but that's all right all right so let's see what do we want to do next all right so now we know what this so if we give her a red or pink dress that would look great so let me grab my watercolors i got these off of amazon i think they're great the colors are awesome on them they were not expensive <clears throat> for watercolors that have good pigmentation i have just water brushes that you can get off of Amazon. So, let's see. I like rose. So that's what we'll do. We'll go with the rose color. I'll just put it up here. I'll pull her. Let me move this over. And just add the watercolor. This is just on mixed media paper. This is a stamp set. Let me get it. Called Paper Dolls by Hot Off the Press. And this is the one right here. So, let's. Give her a nice rose colored dress. If 
you have too much water, just dab it off. And we will do her headband. Give her a tiny bit of color. Actually, cleaning that off would be better. There we go. She has no face, but that's all right. Okay. There she is. I mean, we can give her closed eyes. Let's see. Let me go on my big bucket here and see. Now, I just cleaned this thing out this morning to separate some of the, the good from the bad because I've had these forever. And let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. And the same with her little, her little puggy puppy. All I did was Put all kinds of watercolor on him to give him different colors. And I will put this back. I will cut these out and be right back. Okay. You know, me and fussy cutting, we don't get along all that great. So there's that. Let me throw this away. Because sometimes my hands are just like laughing at me going, really? Not going to happen today. Let's move our journal back over. And is there anything else I want to put on here? Let's see. That's the sentiment. So we can put that here. Here. And the dog is playing in that. So let us take some more of this off. And if it happens to be thicker tissue paper, like this was, this paper came out of a shoe box. So it's not like tissue tissue. It's more like paper tissue, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. So I will put it on the back first so that I can get it to be clear. Now this is the gessoed page. And then if we put her over here, we can put her right here. A little puppy here and that there. Hmm. Let's see. I'm thinking I like this page better. The brighter colors. So that's the side we'll go with, and this just became a two page spread possibly who knows all right but first we'll have that so yes I'll just put her down real quick let me dry this And what I mean by that is I will come and take you out for a little bit. Come here on this the table. I'll put some where I want my sentiment to go. And then I will put some on the back of it so that the see-through process hopefully works better. 
or I could have wet it. This is wetting it anyway. If anything, I can just add some more blue to it. Pick it up. And lay down. And go from the inside out. Sorry. And make sure you have plenty underneath it so that it tries to disappear as best as it can. Which, that's a pretty good job. That disappeared pretty well. Now, let's just put some on. Oh, look at that. They do bleed. I got a little bit of the blue, but that's all right. I mean, if anything, I'll just use some Eileen's tacky glue to put her down. Clean this off the glass. Just put some on her. And then I'll just spread it out with my finger. Yes, my fingers are my greatest crafting tool. Put her here. Just mash her down and hold her for a little bit. Same with the little pug. I guess it's a little pug. It's got a little pug tail, a little pug face. Mm, that's fine. All right. Hmm. I guess I'll just take this, put some glue on the tip of it, and go underneath the dress. Hold it down. Same with the hair. Because if I don't want to get it all over the place, I can just put it back underneath and then press it down and hold it and hold it boy she's just being difficult but that's alright I'm not going to give it too much now I can take any black pen and go around Pronounce my leaves better. Give them a little more dimension. I mean, it's all just, <clears throat> excuse me, relaxing fun. And that's why I do this for. Before I gear up and do <laughs> housework, laundry, you name it. And I can put little blades of grass wherever I want. But that's it. When you wake up in the morning, you can always choose to be joyful. That way your day is easier and not many things are going to bother you, upset you. So that was our art journal pages for the day. I do like the one without the gesso for the mermaid markers better. They seem to be a lot more vibrant. If you want a more muted look, then go ahead and gesso the page. But thanks for watching. 
I enjoy the comments that everyone has left me. They are so sweet and so lovely. Thank you for watching and leaving me a beautiful comment. I hope you have an amazingly blessed day. Bye for now.